Hello, welcome to the Power Commander 5 installation tutorial for the Kawasaki Brute Force 750. This is the Power Commander 5 17-031. This is our newest unit for the 2008 and newer Brute Force 750s. In this new unit, we have incorporated ignition control, and of course, as always, we still have fuel control. Uh, going up the routing of the harness, I'll demonstrate where the connections go and what they actually are. Our first connection will be for the rear ignition coil. We will simply intercept the ignition pulse signal going to that coil. Uh, our six pin connectors, our main connectors, are where we will intercept the fuel injector pulse and tap into the bike's throttle position sensor. And of course we have our ground lug. Further down the harness we'll come to our crank position sensor connectors and our front coil connectors. In this installation we'll be removing the right side plastic panel. Um, we will find our rear coil connector here as well as our six pin connector and our ground lug. Um, our crank position sensor connector will be behind the steering stem cover and then of course our front coil is behind the other side fender but none of the plastics need to be removed from the left hand side of the bike. I'll begin the demonstration first by removing the seat of course. Okay so we'll need to remove this uh, right hand side panel. We'll start by taking this shifter knob off. We'll want to remove this steering, steering stem cover to access our crank position sensor. And we're going to want to pop off the ignition switch. And we'll pull this pocket off here. Okay, so now we're ready to remove this entire panel. For the sake of harness routing, we found it easy to remove these two bolts so that we can run the harness alongside the factory harness. We're going to want to store the module right here under the seat so it'll be easily accessible by a tuner or by you. We'll also want to remove the clutch snorkel to ease in uh, wire routing. We'll try to match the stock harness routing as much as possible. We definitely want to go behind this clutch cover snorkel intake and we'll come to our first connection at the bike's rear ignition coil. We simply need to plug the power commander connectors in series with the signal wire of the, of the rear coil. The bike's signal wire for the coil is a solid blue wire with a white tracer and that will go to the solid blue wire of the power commander harness and then back out to the coil as a white wire with a blue tracer. We'll also come to our six pin connector here on the front head. We need to plug in series with it. And we'll want to connect our ground wire to the ground lug right here on this shifter bracket. Next we'll need to route the rest of our harness up the steering stem to where we'll make our connection to the crank position sensor. The connectors for the crank position sensor are right here. Uh, this one happens to be half black, half white, but it does have blue and green wires going into it. We'll simply need to plug our power commander connectors that match. They have brown and white stripe and white with brown stripe. We're gonna plug those in series with the bike's crank position sensor connectors. And now that we've done that, we can run the rest of our harness back down the steering stem to our front ignition coil. Now that we've routed the rest of our harness back down the steering stem, we'll come to the front ignition coil that we need to connect to. We're also using this coil as a power supply for the ignition side of our power commander. We'll use the red wires that we have left over to plug in series with the hot side of the coil. That's going to be the yellow wire with the red tracer. Also for the green and the white green wires, we're going to intercept the negative side of the coil. The negative side coil wire or the signal wire 
is a green wire with a white tracer. Now that we have our harness routed, it's only a matter of tying up our harness as well as we can, making sure to keep free of any hot or moving parts, and we should use the supplied alcohol and Velcro to secure the Power Commander module under the seat and reinstall all of our body panels. And we're finished, we're ready to begin programming.